So here we go then. So obviously I've had this bike for uh, not quite a year yet, it'll be a year in April. Um, and I've done loads of videos, so if you want to click on up here somewhere, uh, that will take you to all my uh, video vlogs. But this, uh, this video is to do with the lights on the KTM. Uh, so what do I think about them? Well, let's, uh, let's uh, talk about a few things first. Uh, you'll see uh, through most of my videos, I do make, I do bang on about the fact that when you get any bike, you should uh, take a little bit of time just to adjust the bike so it suits you, so it fits you. So what I'm referring to is adjust the, all the levers, even the angle of the, uh, the switches on the handlebars, just get a screwdriver on them and adjust them so your thumbs can reach uh, the, you know, the horns, the turn indicators, the flashlight, headlight, beam, etc. So you're comfortable with the bike. And that goes down to the brake lever and the gear lever as well, depending on what kind of boots you're going to wear. So just make sure the bike fits you. So take, you know, half an hour, an hour, once you get your bike second hand or brand new, to just uh, have a look at the bike and make sure it fits you. That even goes down to the suspension. I never used to play around my suspension because I didn't have a clue what was going on. It really was a black art. Plenty of stuff out on YouTube, folks. Go and have a look at that. Get a mate who knows what they're talking about and set the bike up to your suspension. Uh, this bike is predominantly ridden on the road, you can see here, quite bumpy. So I've actually softened the suspension off. If you're a light rider, heavy rider, carrying luggage, uh, or you've adjusted the suspension, then just take time to get your Torx T20 is what you need to adjust the position of the uh, headlight dipped beam. Very straightforward. There's a photo up here somewhere. I'll put it up here or, or up that way. And then just turn the screwdriver, the Torx driver, um, whilst you're sat on the bike, adjust it so you think that the uh, low beam is in the correct position and then go and take it for a ride if need be go and take your Torx T20 with you and then just stop and then adjust it so you're happy with the position of the low beam which is what I've just done half an hour ago so yeah just make sure the bike suits you uh, so talking about the headlight now uh, it's pretty good actually the road's well lit here uh, and yeah it's great I like the fact that the uh, light switches are backlit and it's a shame that the cruise control isn't backlit but hey ho we can't have everything uh, but the good thing is I've got my heated handlebar uh, grips on and it's just nice and toasty although it's uh, what's the temperature outside it's nine degrees outside um, so it's a little bit on the chilly side but it's pleasant with the heater grips on so we're leaving the illuminated roads behind us now going into a valley which I can't remember if it's got any street lighting I don't think it has and then we just see how good the lights are and hopefully the two vehicles ahead will uh, move out of the way we're in an unlit territory now and yeah I'm not sure if the camera is going to show this it's very hard to get you know good footage of a night time so I've tried to adjust the camera settings as best I can hopefully that's not diesel so hopefully you're going to get a good uh, good idea as to what it's like at night time but there we go, dip beam, I know you've got cars ahead, and there's the high beam. So, I've got to say, it's pretty good, guys. Let's put my visor down. Um, I've got a dark visor on, actually, so it's, uh, that's not too helpful. So hopefully the sound, the audio is a little bit, uh, bit uh, less windy now. But yeah, the, the lights at night time, pretty good. Uh, no complaints there. Yeah, they illuminate the road very nicely. Uh, yeah, it's just a shame that you can't just lower the brightness of the screen, but uh, there we go, it's just one of those things. So I think that's, uh, that's enough of me rabbiting on, folks, uh, about the headlamps, headlamps, headlights of the KTM 890R. Uh, I think the big thing to take away from this is get your Torx screwdriver out, adjust the headlight position uh, so you're happy with where it is um, on the low beam setting in front of you and if you're happy with that then great obviously if you're carrying luggage and everything else so if you're doing little trips then if you're going to do any night riding may I suggest you take a little torque screwdriver with you uh, obviously weight on the back the headlight might slightly be poking upwards and you might be um, dazzling drivers as they come towards you so that's uh what that's something i would recommend uh, there we go so that's uh, vehicles moving so we're now in totally dark roads now uh, the nice thing with the KTM is the position of the uh, 
headlight switch or the main beam switch it's just a flick of the forefinger uh, it's very good I like it it's in a great position more than happy with the headlights of the KTM 890R and I would really like it if you'd hit that subscription button and if you like the video please give it a big thumbs up and if you've got any comments to make about nighttime riding for uh, either myself or our fellow KTM riders uh, please feel free to place those comments in the comment section down below that would be lovely I know there's a speed bump here and it's an absolute horrible speed bump if you didn't notice that it could cause you a bit of a problem thanks so much guys see you again in the next video ride safe and yeah enjoy take care for now cheerio